uh, microscope stand oh, yeah. for a light, but there's nothing in it. And, there's, and most of it's gone. Huh, okay. Which means most of it's gone. Tell me where we are and what's going on here. We are in the basement of the house of Rodney Pingree in Bolton, Vermont, adjacent to the Winooski River, which is separated from the house by a large cornfield, a railroad track, and another field. Water came up to the ceiling just one inch below the floor joist, um, the, the, the sub floor, I mean. It's up on the floor joist. You can see the water line up there. So that's about nine feet of water in here. And it flooded everything. And so we're taking everything out and throwing it away. We have a big dumpster outside that's now full and we've got another one on order. And we're gonna take and put more stuff in it, including basically everything you see on this shelf and the cabinet behind you and the washer, the dryer, the running machine. Um, and what's the biggest loss for you in this? The biggest loss is if you can see through that doorway there, there was minerals and crystals all stored and packaged and labeled. And the flood caused a, a, a rare situation where the sump pump hole blew up from the bottom because of the weight of the water above it and it blew it up and destroyed the concrete floor, ripped it up and put about two tons of soil from the lawn outside, including the sod, all inside that room. And when it did that, it blew the minerals off shelving and benches and in their containers. Some of them lost their lids. Um, covered them with silt and mud. As you can see here, there's mud everywhere. Um, and this isn't the room that was first hit by that. Uh, this is just stuff that came through the doorway. So that's that's the biggest loss, is trying to deal with the, the minerals, um, which are from rare locations like Mount St. Hilaire, where the minerals are fist-sized, whereas in other parts of the world, if they're found at all, are just microscopic. And it's just incalculable loss if we can't recover those. I'm gonna to try to retrieve them from the mud by soaking the mud in a screen and whatever gets caught in the screen, I'll pull out and save and evaluate. Um, we'll, we'll see how much can be saved. And th this was different than, you got flooded during Irene. Yes. But what was the difference there? Um, Irene didn't, cause the disruption of the floors. It was just water coming up, water going down. There was a very light silt and I had washed and cleaned most of the stuff that was affected by that. Um, this is much more catastrophic. Anything else to add? Not at this point. Okay.